The Lentils and Lace cooking show. Today we're going to make a mutton curry and I've got half a kilo of um, leg mutton here which is washed and cubed and we're going to add uh, my ginger and garlic to this. I'm going to put um, nice two heaped teaspoons of ginger and garlic my favorite as always, the chili powder, so I'm going to use one. Um, you can use how many you want to, it depends on your taste buds. I like it flavorful. And one and a half teaspoon salt. You may think it's too much of salt, but the reason for that is when, you, when your meat is half done and you put your potatoes in, the potatoes actually absorb some of that salt. And then I'm going to put some garam masala. A little bit because you don't want your meat too dark. And also I'm going to use some curry leaves. In goes the curry leaves. And then you mix this all together. to marinate for about 20 minutes or 25 minutes. You will let me all down. Now we're going to start with the um, cooking process. So let's get to our stove. Okay, so we're going to switch our stove on to medium. And just wait for it to get a little bit hot. I'm going to add some oil, a tablespoon of oil. So um, with this, I'm going to add my onions now. So I'm just going to add a little bit of onions into the pot. So I've used half an onion in, in there and then my ever favorite cheese, which I love so much. But this time I'm just going to break it because I want all that flavor to get into that meat. So we're going to break that um, and then I have cumin seeds, I'm going to use, actually I'm going to use a, a generous amount here because I'm going to use enough for this meat. So say about um, a teaspoon and a half and then some cloves for flavor and cinnamon stick. Elachi pods. I'm just gonna take three elachi pods and actually pound them. Just to burst the shells and we'll put that in as well. So all my spices go into the oil with the onions. The reason for this is I need to flavor the oil. Remember when you're eating, you don't want to get a smoky taste. You want all those flavors to be in that onion mixture. Um, the spices will now fry and burst and release all their flavors. Okay, so you can see that my onions um, is slightly golden brown. And I'm going to add my lamb pieces or leg mutton into the oil with all the things that are brown and just give this a mix I will be adding um, some water uh, to steam my meat but not now I need my meat to fry and sear on the outside so I'm just going to cover that 
for about a few minutes and let that happen. Okay, so my meat is nice and seared now and I don't want the masalas to actually burn. So what I'm going to do is add a little bit of water to my pot. Now, um, mahan will obviously take longer. I prefer lamb because it cooks quicker and being a busy housewife is you know, you don't have the time to actually wait and you need a meal by say 8 o'clock so I use lamb so I'm going to let that cook down and when it's half cooked we would add our uh, potatoes Go quickly back to the curry and um, I've just tested the meat it seems to be half soft, um, almost soft. It's actually breaking, as you can see. So I'm going to add my potatoes in now. Add your potatoes in. If you want to at this stage, you can either add a little bit more salt if you like. And I'm gonna add a little bit onions. The reason for this is the onions gives it a better gravy you want that sauce. Remember, we are not putting cream in this. This is not a, a creamy um, curry. So I'm going to add a little bit of onions on the top with the potato. This is my mom's secret. I mean, she loved doing this whenever she needed to cook. steam a little bit and you can see it's going all the way through so it's nice and soft can you see the potato just broke so it's nice and soft and we can actually serve this um, our lamb curry is all done and ready to eat you can see that the lamb is nice and succulent and juicy potatoes are soft and you've got a nice thick gravy so there you have it folks, our button curry is all done and ready and looks delicious and it can be served with your rotis, rice or puris. If you need any information or more of these recipes, log on to my Facebook page on Lentils and Lace or on my blog www.lentilsandlace.com Till next time, happy cooking!